Hey hikers, happy Friday. I hope you're all doing well. This is Andy, one of the co-founders at Hike. Um, so in this video, I'm gonna take you through um, the latest changes we've made to the platform over the last month or so. Um, so what we're gonna run through today, um, an improvement to the content wizard, uh, the update to the local listing optimizer page, um, and then finally, just a little bit of news around it, a Google update that went live yesterday. Um, yesterday being the 25th of August. So yeah, let, let's, let's get straight into it. So the first is the content wizard. So a content wizard is, um, the high content wizard helps you with your SEO content. It's in two parts of the platform. Today we're gonna to be talking about the part of the platform that helps you write page titles, meta descriptions, and headings for each page that you're optimizing on your website, right? So in order to access the, con uh, the content wizard, if you're not before, head over to your actions, and next to each page, you'll see this little yellow icon. This yellow icon will appear for any pages you've assigned keywords to on the sitemap page. So what you do is you click on it, and what it does is it looks at the keywords you're trying to optimize. So up here, we're trying to optimize Google My Business Optimization and local SEO software. And then what the content wizard does is you choose your tone of voice, you click run content wizard, and it will spit out um, a title tag, a meta description, and a H1 heading based on, based on SEO best practices. And it's really, it's, it, AI, AI does this. It's all, it's all pretty clever stuff, right? Now we've made some significant improvements to it. Uh, we're gonna be making even more significant improvements over time as well, hopefully this year. But we've, we've really made some significant improvements to this. Uh, so you can see here, for example, right? This is um, keywords we're going for, Google My Business Optimization, local SEO software, and, and Hike. So Hike's already in the page title. The page title it's, it's given us is really good, right? Google My Business Optimization and local SEO software. That's all you need from a page title. Get your keywords in there, make it really, really simple. Meta description, it's written this itself. AI, amazing on time. Hikes a powerful Google My Business Optimization and local SEO software platform designed for small and medium sized businesses. They've hit the nail on the head. The AI's completely hit the nail on the head. Uh, site types, they improve your local SEO performance. And then the H1 heading, really easy. And it gives you it gives you three options, right? So this one here, it's rewritten the, uh, the meta description. And then option three is rewritten the meta description as well, because actually those title tags and H1 headings are fine. Um, so what we've done is we've made some, some significant tweaks because we rolled this out probably end of last year. Um, and it, it produced good results, but every now and again, the results were a, a, a bit incorrect. So I'm gonna give you some examples, right? Uh, no, let's go here, here we go. So here's an example before. This was for one of the hike pages. You can see the keyword was white label SEO software and white label SEO platform. Now the page title was great, white label SEO software and platform, but the meta description was SEO platform and PPC software. So well, we're not PPC software, right? So you can see afterwards now, same, same kind of uh, title tag, but it, it's understanding for the meta description is much better. So hike to white label SEO software and platform, the two keywords, we've got them in there, enables agencies to offer their clients enterprise level SEO at a fraction of the cost, which is exactly what the white label does. And it's quite amazing how it does that. So yeah, that, that's, that's kind of one example of where it's been done. Another one here, you can see the title tag it spat out before had the company name at the beginning and the company name at the end. And the keywords it had in the middle was listed, were kind of listed with comma separated, and they're all lowercase. And you can see it did the same for the H1 heading, right? So it's kind of doing the right thing, but it's not something you can put straight onto your website. We've ran it again since we've made the updates, and you can have a look now. Newborn photographer, Borsal Common, and Meriden, right? So it's lovely how it's combined those two together perfectly from an SEO point of view. Company name at the end. The meta description's great. LJ Photography, based in Borsal Common and Meriden, covering the whole of the West Midlands, so it understands that. It knows that Borsal Common and Meriden are based in the West Midlands, so it's saying covering the whole. And then it says, I offer a natural, relaxed style of photography, which LJ does, right? It's clever. And then the H1 heading, perfect as well, right? So let's have a look at this one. This is another example where again, the title tag is spat out based on these two keywords, We're both lowercase, comma separated, nothing clever or smart about that, not ideal from an SEO point of view. And then we can see after, it's done it great. So it's done that perfect uh, formatting, newborn photography in Warwick, ampersand Warwickshire. So it's getting those in, rewriting the meta description really nice and a nice clear heading. Um, here's another example from Hike. So this was for our homepage. Option three, so you get the different options at the top, and it just like basically gave us hike SEO software, comma DR SEO tools. This was a problem we were having. It was sometimes it was just listing out the keywords, comma separated, and the meta description here was giving us nothing at all. So we ran that after, and you can see what it's done now. So much cleverer in terms of the title tag, hike 
So it's put the company name in the front because it's the home page. So it understands that. DIY SEO software and tools, right? So it's got, completely got all three of those keywords in there. Meta description, really nice. You're looking for an easy to use software to boost your website's traffic. Try Hikes DIY SEO software and tools to get to the top of Google faster. Try it out today. So again, perfect. I, I, I couldn't have written, written that or wrote that any better. So lots of improvements there. Um, it's added in the keywords in a much better way. Uh, it's a lot more consistent. It's a lot more based on SEO best practices. So yeah, uh, have a look, have a use of this guys. You know, our team uses it all the time because it's, when you're doing a lot of SEO and you're having to write a lot of page titles and meta descriptions, you can come up, you know, one, you can get the format in incorrect, but two, you can, it's quite difficult to constantly, especially meta descriptions, right? To constantly come up with them. So we use that all the time. So yeah, have a go and play with that. So that's the first thing, an update to the content wizard, our AI content wizard. Next, you'll see that the, if you go local listing manager, it's moved over to our new design. So what we're doing is over time, we're updating uh, different parts of the platform to our new branding, our new design, right? So it's a lot more cleaner, a lot more newer looking um, than other parts of the platform. We've done that now for the local listing optimizer. One of the things that actually forced us to do this, um, we had it on the map anyway, but was that Google have completely revamped their Google My Business API. Well, it's no longer Google My Business, right? It's Google Business Profile. So we had to rebuild this anyway, which is one of those frustrating updates. As a SaaS platform, Whenever you invest a lot of developer time into updating something, you want something to show for it. But this was a case where we had to do a load of work in the background to actually not change anything functionally. But we thought we'd update the design as well. So it's, it's to the new design. It's a lot quicker. Um, it's built in view, so it's much easier to use. It's, it's faster. Um, you've got still got the, the normal things here. So profile picture and cover photo is still really easy. You can drag and drop now. Um, a lot more information to help you, to guide you on recommendations, what kind of images to upload, what kind of content to add, etc. Um, if we work our way down, what will happen now is if you go to change anything, you'll see this little box pop up saying save changes. So that wasn't there before you'd have to scroll to the bottom. A lot of people actually miss that, you know, understandably so. Um, so now it's, it's dynamic, right? So if I actually change this back to what it was, it disappears because there's no changes to save, right? So yeah, you can work your way um, through all of that um, and, and make all the changes. So that's an update. Um, and then finally, it's not an update to the platform, but it's something that really I want all of our customers to be aware of. Yesterday, Google released a new algorithm update called the Helpful Content Update. And a lot of people in SEO are saying this could be a really big update. Kind of harking back to the old days where Google business, uh, Google, business Google algorithm updates made a significant impact on a large proportion of websites compared to what they do at the minute, which is like everything's baked into their core algorithm. Um, so it's really important. It's all about making sure that, well, Google are judging you on whether your content has been written for humans versus written for search engines. Uh, so head over to our Facebook page um, and you'll see that I've created this video yesterday, which runs through the update completely, talks through, okay, what is it that Google's looking for? What the update's all about? Who it is they're looking to impact? Um, and what, what you should look out for in terms of have you been impacted? what time scales, those sorts of things. So head over to that, watch this video. It's gonna be helpful for everyone here. As a little uh, teaser, I don't think it's really, I personally at the minute, based on what they're saying, don't think it's gonna, it's gonna impact our hike users. Uh, you know, you small business owners who are creating websites specific to the business that you run, I think you're gonna be fine. It's targeted, I believe, more to large content-based websites where they're producing loads and loads of content like a, a media site or a blog, just to drive traffic from lots of different keywords. Um, so yeah, I think it's, it's more relevant for those kind of sites. But however, I'd still recommend that our users, all you guys and girls, watch this video so that you're aware and that if anything happens to your rankings over the next two weeks, it's gonna take two weeks to roll out, then you know potentially what form you can start to do some reverse engineering and get in touch with us, right? And it'd be, be interesting to kind of find out who's been impacted positively or negatively and we can share those learnings with the group. So. Yeah, that's everything. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I hope you get use out of the new tools, especially the content wizard. Please do give it a go. If you're optimizing new pages on the website, you're optimizing a new website, or you want to go back and re-optimize pages you've already think you've optimized it, then use the Onsite Optimizer. Um, it's based on best SEO practices, and so it should mean that your, your metadata and your headings are as optimized as well as possible. Great. Okay, guys. See you later.